Hey what's up Fred Stake up here and this is the Infinix 05G, a budget 5G smartphone to hit the shores of Nigeria. The first 5G smartphone from Infinix, it carries a mid-range price tag but offers impressive specs on paper. You're getting a MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset, 8 gigs of RAM that can be extended to 11 gigs with memory fusion technology, a huge 5000 mAh battery, 120Hz high refresh rate. So with all of these impressive specs, how is the Infinix 05G? Well, in today's video, I'm going to review it and share my honest thoughts with you guys. First, let's start with what you get out of the box, which is quite interesting. You're getting the device itself, a 33 watt fast charger, a transparent silicon case, the earpiece, a SIM card remover tool, X club registration leaflet, X pack leaflet where you can download the app, register and win free phone. Who doesn't like free phones? Okay, so there's also a two-year warranty card which is actually a first for any Infinix device. And to the most interesting part, you get 180 days of broken screen protection for free. And what that means is that if your 05G screen is broken under 180 days of purchase, replacement will be done free of charge. Now moving back to the device, it reminds me of the Oppo Find X3. It kind of looks like a unibody design even though it is not. The camera bump is tapered to the back cover giving you that feel of a unibody design. And do you actually know that Infinix calls this a unicov design? Okay, that aside, the device looks okay. Nothing groundbreaking but it looks very okay. The color I have is called Cosmic Black. Sadly, this is the most difficult phone to keep clean. Smudges and fingerprints, you will always have to wipe it every now and then to keep it clean. Okay, so on the right side of the device, we've got the power button and the volume rocker keys. Speaking of the power button, the one on here also serves as a fingerprint scanner and it is fast. Very fast and reliable. It is basically one of the fastest fingerprint scanners I have used. To the left, we've got a SIM tray that can take dual nano SIM and a micro SD card. At the bottom, we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port and a speaker grill. On top of the device houses another microphone for a better call reception. So the 05G comes with a 6.78 inch IPS LCD. It displays an IPS panel that outputs a resolution of 1080 by 2460 and a pixel density of 388. The display is sharp and bright with up to 500 nits of peak brightness. It is fairly decent when it comes to out of visibility. Watching YouTube videos and general media consumption is very okay on here. It is not an AMOLED display which means you're not going to get all the deep blacks and vibrant colors of an OLED display. but it is okay. Okay, before we proceed, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Skillshare. If you want to learn something new entirely or improve your existing skill, Skillshare is the right place for you. It is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators and people who want to learn new skills. You can learn skills like photography, video editing, web development, film and video production. Recently, I've been so hooked up with this topic, how to create engaging videos for YouTube by Thomas Deja. He talked about creating engaging intro and outro, getting the right music for the right project and finding that golden moment. It is something I try to replicate in my own videos. One of the reasons you should try out Skillshare is ad-free video. Skillshare does not support ads and this means zero distraction which in return will allow you to focus more on your creative journey. So if you are a creator or someone who is aspiring to become one, I encourage you to sign up now using the link below. And because Skillshare is also sponsoring this video, so the first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare membership with full access to all the curated classes. Just click the link below and also see my pinned comment. Now let's talk about the Infinix 05 performance. With a 6 nanometer dimensity processor, plenty of RAM, 5G and high refresh rate, performance is super amazing. The gaming experience is very impressive too. You can play high graphics demanding games at high graphics settings. Browse the internet with ease without any hiccups. It can handle multiple background apps smoothly and launching of apps is impressive as well. The 05G is simply fast. As you can see here, anti 2 and Geekbench showcase impressive numbers which further explain how snappy the device is. For the price you're paying for this, performance is really impressive. The faster refresh rate on here makes everything smooth. Scrolling and app switching is really good. It comes with Android 11 but with a custom skin called XOS 8.0. The software experience keeps on improving as the new one comes out. However, it is still far from the best Android skin out there 
or vanilla stock android the zero 5g comes bundled with unwanted apps and bluetooth but the good thing is that they are not intrusive at least none that i've seen yet the software experience is generally smooth and i don't think anyone will have issues navigating through the ui there's no word from infidix if it will be updated to android 12 but let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best okay so the zero 5g comes with a single down firing speaker which is actually decent but i'm not gonna lie i'm not impressed with its audio output moving on to the battery the 5000 mAh battery is good and can comfortably last for more than a day on a single charge the battery is really impressive as well as a 33 watt fast charger that is capable of refilling it from 0 to 100 percent in just one hour and 20 minutes okay now let's talk about the camera the 05g comes with a 48 megapixels main sensor a 13 megapixels telephoto lens and a 2 megapixels depth sensor on the selfie side it comes with a 16 megapixels selfie camera the main camera is a major win for this device it takes excellent looking photos it is well detailed and the colors look nice especially when the lighting condition is very good i like how sharp the images appear and i'm very impressed with them portrait images are also good but to have a consistent image quality one has to make sure the lighting condition is good the 30 megapixels telephoto lens is decent and can go up to 30 times zoom take a look at the images and tell me what you think about them in the comment section below the 16 megapixel selfie camera is impressive as well it is detailed and sharp the selfie portrait is also very good and i like how it handles skin tone and i must say i'm impressed okay on the video aspects the 05g can shoot 4k video in 30 frames per second and the footage looks good even though video stabilization is absent while shooting in 4k if you want your footage stabilized you have to switch to 1080p mode hey guys so this is a front facing camera of the infinix 05g i'm currently shooting in 4k 30 frames per second the footage looks okay however there are some dynamic range issues on the background can you guys see that take a look at the sky up there okay but overall i think the footage looks okay uh, but you guys should be the final judge here let me know what you think about it in the comment section below also let me know what you think about the audio quality as well okay for the price the infinix 05g goes for 169,500 naira or 300 and that's a lot of money but if you look at what it offers and compare it to what the competition has to offer you would definitely appreciate the 05g in conclusion the infinix 05g is a good device that I can easily recommend because it has impressed me with all its new features and impressive performance. However, some parts of the device could use some improvement like the speaker and the software. I love the camera and the display even though I wish it was an AMOLED display. So that is it guys, my review of the Infinix 05G. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the very next one. Bye bye.